Karibu tena double updates popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu mimi na Tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa ni TBWJ na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa na uhakika kuna mtu sasa hivi anajiuliza WJ vipi mbona mazingira sio ya kawaida eh mbona mazingira sio ambayo tumezoea no problem jamani nilipata emergency kidogo asubuhi a uh, nikatoka nje ya Nairobi i think tutaizungumzia nitakaporejea mjini there is no uh, problem. Kwa hiyo video hii hapa nitakuwa mchache sana wa maneno. Na zungumzia nyumba mbili. Uh, ya kwanza ni bunge la kitaifa lakini la pili ni au ya pili ni kule kwenye senate. Nakumbuka kuna kipindi Raila Shai kusema kwamba hizo nyumba mbili tayari zimeshanunuliwa na William Samoito na watu watakiwi sana kuzitegemea hizo nyumba hata kama hizo nyumba zinatakiwa kuhakikisha uh, kwamba wanaoingia mlendani wanapigania nani walio wachagua ambao mwisho siku ni wananchi but watu wakahisi ni kama Raila alikuwa anapiga sana William Samoito but um, ndo ukweli wa mambo ndo mambo jinsi ilivyo kwa sababu gani mimi nitakuuliza tu swali moja wewe ambaye bado na dukuduku la kama kweli bunge limenunuliwa au kama senate imenunuliwa na mambo kama hayo i think mwanzoni mliona wa bunge walinunuliwa senate i think alikuwa nao so nitakuuliza swali moja tu wewe ambaye bado unaamini kwamba labda bunge tunaweza tukaitegemea au senate tunaweza tukaitegemea tangu lini umeona uh, kitu ambacho wamekosa kufaulu au kitu ambacho hawajapitisha hawa wabunge au senators wa Kenya kwanza. Yaani kitu ambacho wanakitaka kabisa na wamesema hii hapa lazima ipite na ikakataa kupita au ikashindikana kupita. So mwisho siku huo inapita. Yaani kuna kipindi mimi mwenyewe nishai kuambia kwamba when it comes to bunge au senate inabidi tuiangalie kama movie fulani. Yaani ni movie fulani tu ambao wewe ukitaka kusikia Uingereza, unataka kusikia namna watu wanapigana kelele na nini unafungua TV yako jioni au KBC, unaona jinsi ambavyo wabunge na maseneta wa wana wana wanarushia na maneno na mambo kama hayo kwa sababu okay why should we even send our MPs au our senators pale kwa sababu number one, these people hata kama wakijaribu kututetea nazungumzia uh, wabunge wa wazimio wa, wa la moja kwa sababu vitu ambavyo vinazungumziwa mara nyingi kwenye senate na kwenye bunge nyi wenyewe mnayaona kwa hiyo naweza nikawauliza tuna haja gani au naweza nikawaambia tuna haja gani ya kupeleka wabunge wetu kwa sababu they are not representing us anymore I think ni wachache tuna ni wazimio la umoja ukiwasikiliza vizuri utaelewa kabisa hawa watu wanajaribu kutupigania but sasa kwenye hizo nyumba mbili nilishagundua kitu kimoja kule kuna kitu ambacho William Samoito anataka na kuna kitu ambacho wananchi wanataka so wananchi wanakuwa represented na labda viongozi kutoka upande wa wazimio la umoja na anachokitaka William Sam Sorry na anachokitaka William Samoei Ruto inakuwa represented na wale wabunge wake au senators wake. So mimi nilikuwa naona kama hiyo nyumba atleast kwa balance na tukapata matokeo ambayo inaweza ikaridisha mwananchi. Then tuiangalie kama movie, tusitarajie kitu. Tuseme kwamba oh mambo yataonekana uh, uh, very soon oh si nini na mambo kama mmekuwa mkiona. Kwa mfano kama leo I think walikuwa wanazungumzia swala la si affordable houses and I was shocked. I was like So this housing debate is still going on. Yaani bado inaendelea majadiliano ya housing and how I was shocked. Nikasema kwamba no way. People are wasting resources talking about something about hata haisaidii mwananchi wa kawaida. People are going through a lot. So message yangu ni very simple before hata nikuonyeshe drama ambayo ilitokea huko kwenye uh, kwenye Senate. Wabunge wa Azimio Senators wa I think it's high time muachie hawa watu nyumba hiyo wafanye wanavyotaka kwa sababu gani? Nyinyi mko na uwezo hata kutumia mitandao ya jamii, kutumia vyombo vya habari, sisi tuko hapa. Unaelewa? Sisi tuko hapa. Tusaambia wananchi ni kitu kipi ambacho wameamua Kenya kwanza. Alafu viongozi wa Azimio watatoa nafasi na wataelezea wananchi ni madhara gani ambayo wanatakiwa kukutana nayo. I think that's the only job wanaweza wakafanya sasa hivi uh, viongozi wa Azimio la Umoja when it comes to labda kwenye bunge au hata kwenye Senate but mtu kama wewe utakuwa unatarajia labda kuna kitu kizuri ambacho kitatoka kwenye nyumba hizo mbili jua ni vitu ambavyo anavitaka William Samoe kuna kitu ambacho anakitaka yeye kwa hiyo kupitia nyumba hizo mbili zitakuwa zinapitia 
Sinabitisho, it's very simple kutuza maji wangu. So, I think uh, mambo ni kama hayo. And, um, wananchi, I hope you are doing something. Muna chukua noti zenu, muna kachini, muna pige sabu, muna angalia hapa tunafanya aje, hapa tunaweka aje. Huu tunamudisha, hatu mudishi. I, I think that's what you should do. Mwacha yue funzu kwa hatu ingine. Yani siku nyingine hata mtu wakitaka kufanya, wanachokifanya, wazi, uh, um, anazi kasema viongozi wakenye kwanza. Then ye mwenye ataangalia. Ata Historia itamfundisha, itamambia. Kuna kipindi hawa shee kufanya hivi na hivi na hawa kufaulu. Kuhunenelea mtuza maju uh, wangu. It's that simple. So I think right now nita kwachia. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it was very uh, dramatic um, a debate. Ilikuwa ni noma sana. I think watu natakia kuhiona. And uh, a very big shout out to Kajuan na kina uh, sifuna kwa vitu mbavu wanendelea kufanya kwenye senate. But for me natamani wajifanya inje. Yaani wale wacha wapitishe wao wao tuambie huku nje ukweli ambao unaendelea na vitu ambavyo tunatakiwa kutarajia. I think sina mengi sana kesho tutapiga story zaidi. Uh, today itakuwa ni vigumu kidogo kwa sababu na shughuli nyingi sana na emergency ambayo nilipata about my brother and uh, I think right now I'm going to somewhere. I told you very well kwamba nitakuwa nawaambia kitu kipi ambacho kilifanyika and that's the reason why niko hapa. So Bye bye, angalia ni video mwazo mwisho na kwa wale mbao bado hawajia subscribe ni mwamba kitu kimoja tu mjiunge na familia, subscribe hiyo ito kupa na fasi ya kuendelea kupata taifa nyingi na mpia kila wakati na wapenda sana tukusani kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye Senator Sifuna, what is your intervention? Mr. Chair, you should ordinarily allow us to make points of order I was standing I have been given the mic Senator this is Senator, this orderly order, order conduct by the majority leader and there's a reason I'm rising on my feet, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to, pursuant to standing order 121, I have seen the majority leader essentially throw a tantrum and smack the, de uh, the desks with his documents there. And yet he has the audacity to accuse me of being disorderly. You have thrown a tantrum. You are doing it again. Order, you Senators. are doing it again, Mr. Senator Speaker. Gloria. Mr. Speaker. Senator Gloria. Mr. Chair. <coughs> Mr. Chair. Senator Gloria. Order. Mr. Chair, there is only one opportunity for you to have order in this house, and that is enforcement of the rules equally. If it were anybody on the minority side who was throwing the tantrum that I have seen, my brother, the majority leader, throwing, he would be, have been thrown out of the house. Why is he being treated specially, Mr. Speaker? Very Why well. is he being treated specially? Very and I, well, want, Senator. I want, Mr. Speaker, a ruling on each point of order that we raise, because we must have a record of how this house treats people and how you apply the law, Mr. Speaker. Because Very ordinary, well, and you, you saw it, Mr. Speaker. Please don't pretend you did not see it. And I know you're a good man. I you have seen it. Uh, Clause 42B seeks to put restrictions as to ownership. And it says that a person shall not acquire more than one affordable housing unit developed under this act. And Mr. Chair, the question is, is this an act that is going to serve us for one year or two years, or it's an act that will serve us for the next 100 years. What time frame are we legislating on? If you put it in law and cast it in stone that a person cannot acquire more than one affordable housing unit, what if we get to the point where this project, assuming has become so successful that all Kenyans who wish to apply have applied and have been allocated housing units, are you going to shut down the scheme? Are you going to then come back to parliament to amend it? so that uh, the next round of Kenyans can benefit. Uh, Mr. Chair, we must be very careful with the manner in which we legislate. And we must also ensure that whenever we make amendments at the committee stage of the House, we ask ourselves whether those amendments have been subjected to public participation. I know that at the third uh, reading stage, any member has a right to rise and to make amendments subject to certain consultations with the chair of the respective committee. But does it take away the right of the public to be part of the, de de the decisions that we make? Does it take away that constitutional responsibility to ensure that we inject the views and the voices of the public in whatever it is that we do? But Mr. Chair, I think this is a fairly dangerous amendment because it is an amendment that is coming from a position of want, a position that we are in which could be resolved or which could easily be solved in five years or in 10 years' time. Once the situation has been solved in 10 years' time, where every Kenyan has access to affordable housing, every Kenyan uh, 
uh, even if they are not bought from this project, there are those who come from communities like mine. I'm Mr. Chair, still speaking to this amendment, I can tell you that there are certain cultural dimensions to home ownership that we do not take into account whenever we are legislating. We think that everyone comes from Singapore. We think that everyone comes from South Korea. We come from Kenya, Mr. Chair, in my community. When a boy gets to the age of 18 or 19, that boy is compelled to build his first house. That first house is called a Simba. Mr. Chair, in my community, 90% of men S have Senator, access could, to houses. If you could please summarize so that we can get a response to that argument. Mr. Chair, argument. You, uh, as per the uh, practice in this house, if there's limitation of debate, it is done before a member takes the floor. And in the committee of the whole, in the committee of the whole, Mr. Mr. Chair, we have agreed that when you propose a question, any member has a right to comment on that proposal. Senator, and therefore, Mr. Chair, if you would allow me just my normal 15 minutes, if there is need for limitation of debate, that motion can be passed or that motion can be made after I've finished my submission. Those are the rules of this house. Those are not the rules of government. Those are the rules of this house. And when we are discussing a matter so important to Kenyans, we cannot be casual about application of the law and the chair cannot be directed to commit illegalities and unconstitutional behavior. Senator when Kajon. I took the floor, I was entitled to 15 minutes to discuss the proposal. If any member wants to limit debate, you can only do it after I've sat down. Those Senator. are the rules of the House, and they are in this blue Senator document. Kajon. They are not in any political party document. Mr. Chair, Senator if you Kajon. allow me in 15 minutes, I will be done <laughs> with my comments on the new clause <laughs> 42B. Not. And I will yield Senator the floor Kajuang, we are to in other the committee of the whole. Points. Senator Kajuang, we are in the committee of the whole. Mr. Chairman, committee when you're of the whole, an when a proposal, when you propose the question, all of us have a right to comment on that question. And that is why we were requesting that you go a little bit slow between proposing the question and, 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 and putting the question. Mr. Chair, those are the rules of this House. Those are the rules of what debate. What is your point of order, Senator Cheriot? And if Chariot? Senator Cheriot feels outwitted, then it is what it is. These are the rules of the House. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Mr. Uh, Chairperson. Mr. Chairperson. There's only one chairperson. I hope so. I hope there is only one chairperson. Protect me from hecklers in the house, Mr. Speaker. I want to address you. Mr. Speaker, I want to address you in total silence. Let's... Just one more. I, I should be... A, Chairperson... I will, I will ask him. I have given him the point of order. Let him proceed. We we'll listen to him in silence. I'm sure before he sits down, he will make that very clear. What is your, what is your point of order? Thank you, Chairperson, for protecting me. Number one, Mr. Speaker... I take great exception in the conduct of Senator Kajuang. If it was another senator, I would have assumed that probably he doesn't know the traditions of this house and what we do in third reading. Senator Kajuang is not only being cheeky because I watched him when he walked into the house and I could hear him clearly tell his colleagues that why are you guys not filibustering? I knew. Mr. Speaker, can you protect me? Sifuna, Sifuna. Mr. Speaker, let, let I am not finish. in a mood to engage yes. in a heckling debate. We will find out. Mr. Speaker, can you protect me? Oh, you are protected, Senator Chiriot. You so proceed. the point is this. Senator Kajuang knows that in third reading, you try to persuade people why you are not in supportive of the proposed amendment. In a quick, witty comment, hardly beyond a minute, Mr. Speaker, and you give opportunity to the chairperson or the person that is moving that amendment to convince you why that amendment is important. This is not a, 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 a debate stage, Mr. Speaker. Senators, senators, let us. Sen just one moment before. Can we conclude on? Can we conclude on Senator Kajuang's issue? What's your point of order, Senator Sifuna? Chair, Chair, thank you for 
Chair, I, I would like the attention of the chair, please. Chair, I wanted to draw your attention to Standing Order 185. Mr. Chair, allow me to read. General application of rules in committee of the whole, except as otherwise provided in these standing orders. The same rules of order and of debate for the conduct of business shall be observed in the committee of the whole in the Senate. Mr. Speaker, therefore, nobody should rise up to tell you that there are traditions. Traditions are only applied where there is no express provision of the standing orders. So Honorable Kajuang is within his right, Mr. Speaker, even in committee of the House. I am surprised somebody who's told us many times that he's doing the third term in this House has no idea which standing orders he's referring to. And Mr. Speaker, when somebody stands up on a point of order, Mr. Speaker, you must insist on which standing order he is rising. I have read the law of this House. We will not be threatened by old people here that you have been here 10 times, but you can't read uh, very simple English. Mr. Speaker, therefore, allow us to debate in the normal fashion because that is what the law says. Mr. Chairman, do not be intimidated by anybody telling you they were elected before your grandfather was born. We are all here now. And Mr. Chairman, we are subject to the same rules. We must speak in accordance with the Constitution and in accordance with the standing orders, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, Nobody should come here to tell us about traditions of okay, security, order, which, senators. which community. Order, the traditions senators. of the House are dictated by order. the standing orders. So I dare anybody else, anybody okay, else order, Sen to stand order. up and read. Order, senators. Order, senators. Order, senators. Order, order. Let us have some order. Order, order, senators. No, order, order, senators. Order, order, sit down. Sit down. Okay, sit down, Sifuna. Sit down, Senator Abbas. No more, Senator, no, no, no more point of orders. No, no, no. No, no, senators, I cannot allow because it will, it, it is... It is going out of hand. Not on this same matter. Is it on the same matter? Le okay, Senator Mogheni, go ahead. The order, Senator, one moment. Let's hear what he has to say. You know, you know Mr. Speaker, Mr. Mr. Speaker, you know, um, I've, I've said I've said on this floor that I have tremendous respect for Senator Cheriot, and I've said he's a young senator who has a very bright future. But you know, when uh, he starts uh, shouting at us, it's not, right. it's not right because you we need to allow us to hear what your point of order, and you also give us a chance. Mr. Speaker, you know. <clears throat> We are in this house because we drive our powers from the Constitution. And uh, yes, so, so Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Senator Sifun has made reference to Standing Order 185. But Mr. Speaker, the article I want you to bear in mind is Article 124 of the Constitution. Article 124, Mr. Speaker, states that each House of Parliament may establish committees and shall make standing orders for the orderly conduct of its proceedings, including the proceedings of committees. So the standing order that uh, Senator Sifuna has read as a bearing on what is happening, Mr. Speaker. The same standing orders that allow us to raise issues when we are legislating, it flows from a power that is donated to you by Article 124 of the Constitution. And you know, Mr. Speaker, maybe it's high time. It's high time some of us moved to court to challenge some of these standing orders that limit our right to make contributions on behalf of the people of Nyamira, of, Nyamira, of Omabe, of Nairobi who have elected us. 
Can Thank you, you Senator. Me? Is your can, point Can made? you protect me from Senator Chereke? So, so, Mr. Speaker. Let's hear him on silence. When, when you read Article 124, and, and uh, don't make it in Section 2A. Don't, take us, don't make us go back there. We are now operating under a new constitution, 2010. Senator Chereke, my friend, there are Kenyans who died to put this constitution in place. Yeah. No, we have to lecture you because we have to remind you. We have to remind you history. We have to remind you. So, Mr. Speaker. Thank Mr. you. Speaker, so, okay, Mr. Senator, Speaker, order, order. Mr. Speaker. Order, Senators. Mr. Have, House, we are, Senator, we, are, we are in this house can you by conclude? virtue of powers that is bestowed on us by the Constitution. That Thank the you. people of Kenya passed the Kenya Constitution of 2010. Thank you, Senator. You have no, given... Under this article, Mr. Speaker, under the article I've read to you, you have no right to limit us. Thank you, you have Senator. No right to... Thank you, Senator. Let... Let me make a ruling so that we can have a way forward. I have to make a ruling so that you can either proceed or not. I have to make a ruling, Senator Kajuang, on this matter. And the ruling also touches on the issues you raised. So, honorable senators, honorable senators, I believe what has been raised by the learned senators in this house, who are very proficient, uh, who are very um, aware of, of the standing orders, and whatever understanding orders that they've raised and the clauses that they've raised on the matter touching on the Constitution, it is very clear that even the standing orders are applied alongside the traditions and practices of this House. When we are in a committee of the whole, Intervention should be very brief, and there, is, and there is no time limitation. It is just meant to be a very brief intervention. The same way when we're in the standing, when we, can we be in, can we hear in silence? Silent, Senator Gay. When, when we're in the sen, when we're in the, when we're in the committee of the hall, it's the same way that we don't have a seconder for anything that is moved or any question that is put. Um, this said, Senators, we will proceed as we were proceeding, and if there is any clause that you want to make an intervention, we will give you an opportunity, but be very brief on the matter. Senator Kajuang, you may not stand, Senator Kajuang. Senator Kajuang, you have raised um, can I finish the? Can I finish my ruling? Can I finish my ruling? You had concluded, and you had raised your matter, Senator Kajuang. You had raised a matter on clause clause 42B. At this point, I will give Senator Abbas an opportunity to address to address the issues you had raised. It's only one sentence. It's only one sentence. How can he have not been finished? Sen huh? Senator Kajuang, why don't you listen, listen to the reply? Listen, let's listen. Let's listen to the reply. Senator Kajuang, you had spoken you had spoken for a good five minutes before we interrupted you. No, Senator Kajuang, I will not. I will not. I will not. Sit. Let Senator Abbas reply to your issue. Okay, order, order, Mr. Let me... Let me give you the rationale. Let me explain the rationale. Let me give the rationale. I will explain myself. Let me explain. Senator Abbas, address okay, the chair. Okay, okay. Honorable Speaker, Clause 242B, 
limits the individual owning only one or twelve houses, unit under the Act. This measure prevents the concentration of units in few hands and ensures equitable distribution among the intended beneficiaries. You can have hundred, you can have hundred wives. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining myself. I'm, I'm explaining myself. You, you can have 100 wives, you can have 10 wives, you can have 100 children. There is no need. You can always buy only one house. We are giving, taking care of the interest of those guys. You, are, you should take care of the interest of these guys. Okay. <coughs> I'm saying, Honorable Speaker, that these houses are meant for the, the poor people, the, the low income houses, the houses. And there is no way you can buy 100 houses at the same time. Therefore, this Kalaus justifies. Yes. Keep. Order, order. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Kalaus. I'm explaining myself. I'm saying order, the order, Senator. Senators, please sit down. 42B. Limits. <laughs> For the full being limits, individuals to own only one affordable house. Unit under the Act, this measures prevent the concentration. Order. Okay. Relax, relax. Let me explain myself. Good join. Oh, uh, order, 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 senators. I am on the floor. Sit down. Sit I am down. on the floor. Sit down. I am on the sit floor. Down. I should be given time. Sit down. Let's be calm on the floor. Watch out, watch out. Sit down. Let him read that one. Commissioner, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Nani. Sit down. Sit down. Majority leader, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Senator Kajuang, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down.